Hey gang, good morning. It's Friday, December 4th. Wow. And uh, we're going to live solve the New York Times crossword that was constructed by Patty Varrell and Doug Peterson. And uh, it's Friday, so really, really kind of a mixed bag on Fridays. Could be super fast, could be uh, kind of a slog. And the only way to find out is to dive in. So let's go. Wow. Um, very intimidating one across. I mean, that's just, that's a very long answer. One who takes stock. So, I mean, it's going to be some kind of a ranch answer, I'd bet. Um, you know, a herdsman. Can you believe it? Oh, huh. Fear of public places. I think that's like, is it agoraphobia? Agoraphobia. I think that's right. Sticky stuff uh, could be goo or tar. Uh, those are both pretty sticky. What's this? Tavern in the same town as Krusty Burger. Well, that's going to be Moe's, so that's pretty easy. Nice Simpsons clue to get us moving. And can you believe it? Hmm. Can you believe it? Like, this could be like ism or something. I don't even know. Tending to. <clears throat> Not sure what that is. Half a frozen fruit foods brand. So I think this is probably Orida. Um, clearly the number one tater tot purveyor. Makes a splash. Tapes say. Like records, videos, cassettes maybe. C-A-S-E-T-T-E-S. Uh Jim Croce, wow. Um, <clears throat> trees symbolizing death in Celtic culture. I want to say this is like a yew tree, Y-E-W. Could that be right? To now, yeah. I'm the smartest man alive. This would be to now, as yet. That was my easy confirm there. Crumb, not sure what that is. Speculative fiction writer Stevenson. I wonder what speculative fiction is. Like the fiction of the future where AI is in charge or something. I don't know. Go away. Before thou knowest. Hmm. Company that owns Rotten Tomatoes. That's interesting. I wouldn't have thought of Rotten Tomatoes. I mean, I guess it must be like a big advertising platform since a lot of people use it. I don't think of it as a money generating thing though. Neighbor of Ciudad Juarez. Uh, so I think this is the name of a Mexican state. Um, so like Tecate or something on a par with level two. I don't love that, but that might be right. So I'm just going to struggle to fill in anything here. So I, I'd like to get something on the paper, even if it's just a false morale boost. Uh, prepared, like got set, got ready. Uh, six to nine months. That's the third trimester. Um, but I don't know what else. They're involved in the scheme of things in the scheme of things, like abettors, A-B-E, abettors, abettors. Uh, that's, that could be way wrong. Uh, file extension, so like PDFs maybe. 1986 sci-fi film sequel, Aliens, I believe. Um, I'm not a big, so I'd like to talk about Aliens for a second. I am not a big sci-fi person in general, but I'm really not a horror person. I don't like to be scared at the movies. And Aliens is scary. And so is Alien. I mean, the alien itself is the scariest thing in the world. And I recently had a, a long discussion with some friends about <clears throat> our all-time favorite movies. And I was surprised to hear how high Alien and Aliens ranked in their all-time movie rankings. I mean, for me, those are movies I've seen and will 100% never watch again. So... Um, to each his own, right? Uh, Ridley Scott, though, nice work. Aliens, Sigourney Weaver, a lot of good stuff. 
pair of skivvies. There's a pair of V's in skivvies. Writers Patchett and Brashares. I think this is Anne Patchett, right? Uh, let's say she's Australian. Tousled Muss, maybe. Choppered in or out. Choppered in or out, like helied, helicoptered. Heli dropped. I'm not really sure what that's going to be. Figure that goes through the roof in December. No idea. QB's stat. So attempt, interception, completion, yards, TDs, who knows. Director of two Best Picture nominated films of the 2010s. I want to say this is going to be like Zipun Jong. No, that's not right. Um, it's a Ray. Unforgettable with love, Grammy recipient. Uh, is that like Nat King Cole? So this is interesting. I think this is a duet that Nat King Cole, that Natalie Cole, Nat King Cole's daughter, posthumously recorded over his song, which means it could be either Natalie or Nat King, which is kind of interesting. Um, but I guess all these letters will be the same either way, right? So, um, and if I'm wrong and that's not what that clue is, then I sound like a real idiot. Uh, author, pen, line up on a city block. Hmm, like parking meters or fire hydrants or I have no idea. Uh, absurdly exaggerated. I don't know. Dexterous is agile. Sets off. Sets off. A young woman is a lass. A brand for determining if you're expecting. Oof, pregnancy tests. I'm happy to say I have not had to buy any pregnancy tests lately. And uh, I don't know who the going brand is there. One who takes stock. Oh, so cattle... Cattle, E.P. Cattle, one who takes stock. A cattle thief, maybe? <clears throat> Could that be right? Yeah, sur survivor is Horatio, right? So cattle thief, that's interesting. The world's deepest river. <clears throat> so I wonder if this is going to begin with, an, with the, which is kind of lame. Um whatever and so this would be ibis's fifth of fünf. so this must be ein that's pretty tough um ein means one in german fünf apparently means five in german it's a lot of german to expect someone to know i think uh cattle thief donald fagan in steely dan that's nice love steely dan uh, so Jim Croce hit is, uh, it's something I got, I got something, right? And this was ism. Can you believe it? You believe in an ism, um, theism, deism, rage quitter. It's a sore loser. Um, boy, that reminds me of someone. Uh, I can't think of who tapes. Isn't it Donald Fagan? This is cassettes. So it's not Donald Fa Fagan. Do I have that wrong? Tending to. Hmm. Interesting. I got something. Leaves home. <clears throat> so leaves home. I would want this to be nest, but. Um, that doesn't fit, so it's not going to be nest. Crumb, I think that's like a moat, maybe. Bears repeating mantra, yeah, mantra. I'm gonna say this is moat. What is this? The world's deepest river? Oh, the Congo. Yeah, the Congo. Uh, I mean. I feel like most rivers you could probably. I mean, you wouldn't. 
I don't think you would see the Seine, right? You might see the Nile, um, but it's interesting that some of these would be clued with the, like you'd never see the Loire, right? Um, although you might refer to the Loire Valley. So the Congo is interesting. I, I'm not, um, and I'm really confused here. Capes say, I mean, this is C-A-S-E-T-T, -T. Oh, wait, Capes, Capes, uh, what? I'm very confused by this. Capes say, I mean, this, that's, this felt like it had to be cassettes, but that doesn't fit. C-A-S-E-T-T-E-S. -E -T -T -E um, I'm going to move on. Try somewhere else. A view from a highland. Go away. Is vanish. So a view from a highland must be a veil. A vanish. Herons. Are, so do we have two long-weighted... Long-legged waiters. Yeah, we have two clues for that. And so a betters is wrong here, and that's kind of a bummer. Um, it's always nice when you just, like, you see a longish clue like that, and it's a little bit obscure, and you fill it in right away. But then sometimes you're wrong, and you have to delete it. And sometimes when you're wrong, you have to delete it. You're doing a live solve, and people are watching you be wrong and have to delete it, and it's, it's a bummer. So let's move on. Communicates non-verbally in a way. Um, <clears throat> I think that's going to be nods maybe. And I think love or snooze. Love or snooze. Well, company that owns Rotten Tomatoes must be Fandango, which is interesting. I think of Fandango as a bygone company where Rotten Tomatoes is still relevant. Um, I mean, Fandango, I'm pretty sure that the only thing you do on Fandango is you, you look at movie listings and buy movie tickets and like that doesn't really exist anymore. Um, it's actually just listening to the big picture podcast about the future of movies. I mean, are, are movie theaters going to continue to exist? Um, sounds like Warner brothers has just announced that they're going to stream everything and you know, this is really going to change the whole movie landscape. So, um, Fandango, it's probably going to lose even more ground to its uh, subsidiary Rotten Tomatoes. Um, ending with love or snooze. So something seems wrong here, right? I mean, powerful spirits. I mean, so this is, I feel like level two might be wrong on a par with level two. Ending with love or snooze. Love. Hmm. Powerful spirits. British PM's residence. Hmm. Young woman is a damsel. Okay. But at least. Oh, so this will be equal to, not level to, on a par with, equal to. That's helpful. And love. Oh, so this is not PDFs. This is love fest and snooze fest. Powerful spirits, aqua vitae. I'm, I know that's right. I'm not exactly sure what that means. I think that's an, just an old reference to alcoholic beverages. Um, in the same way you might refer to like fire water, um, aqua vitae. I mean, water of life is what that would translate to. So uh, 69 months. Oh, that's summer. Oh, that's kind of a nice clue. So six is June, nine is September. Um, summer months, British PMs. So this must be number something, right? File extensions tabs, number 10, I guess. That's, I mean, British PMs. I wonder if that's like in Sherlock Holmes or something and they refer to it because that would seem like a high bar of knowledge about the British Prime Minister's residence. The address, the physical street address of the British Prime Minister's Residence, so I don't know. Things to draw or cast. Things to draw or cast. Los Angeles suburb border in Griffith Park. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one. I have no, I, I have no idea. I've been to LA a couple times, but 
I'm always just lost and confused. Uh, sticky stuff. Not on time for is late to. Communicates non verbally in a way. Signs. One of the racing Andretti's. Uh oh. So I think it's not King Cole going to be wrong. I thought this was Mario. Oh, maybe it's Marco. Marco Andretti. Um, like a prize that's still up for grabs. Unwon. That's an awkward word that no one would ever use. Wooden leg is a stilt. Venerable advisors are sages. Organization whose website has a social security resource center it must be AARP, the American Association of Retired Persons. Uh, let's see, chopped, choppered in, oh, choppered in or out, oh, airlifted. Um, not a good day if you're getting airlifted anywhere. Schoolhouse is a frat. Uh, let's see, figure that goes to the roof in December. Santa, tarot reader is a seer. Tweet attachment at times. Hmm. So this is Greta Gerwig. Um, and I'm curious. She did Little Women. I'm trying to think what the other one was. Was it? Uh, it's a thing with Cersei wrote. The other thing with Cersei running. Um, shoot, I can't think of it. So this must be Marco. I feel pretty good about that. It's funny that I have gotten no crossers here to help me out with if it's Natalie or Nat King. Um, a tweet attachment at times. Uh, tending to. Tending to. Absurdly exaggerated. Huh. Makes a splash like flops, plops. Absurdly exaggerated. It must be campy, maybe. Ministering. Ministering. That's tough. Sets off trips, like a trip wire and plops, I guess. Tapes say, I, this, I feel like an idiot, and I, I know this is going to be <clears throat> Stevenson. I have no idea. Before thou knowest. Before thou knowest. Oh, I, think, I feel like this might be Anon, but I don't really get how that would make sense. Neighbor of Ciudad Juarez. Hmm. Prepared. Prepared. Hmm. They're involved in the scheme of things. Plotters. Sticky stuff. Pine tar. Okay, that would work. Plot. I'm going to say plotters. Natalie Cole. Store fronts. Okay. Um, let's just make sure that all works. If tweet attachment gif. I'm to relate to... Glendale, I guess. Prepared. Prepared. Groomed. Groomed. Let me, I mean, I plugged in Donald Fagan right away, but like, how could this be an A? It couldn't. It's, I just don't. Oh, I Got a Name is the Jim Croce song. And Leaves Home. Leaves home. Whew. Things to draw or cast lots. El Paso must be the neighbor of Ciudad Juarez. So this, this must be a border town. Ciudad Juarez, because El Paso is a border town. Leaves home. Oh, teapot. So Anon was right. And speculative. This must be like Neil. I mean, right? I'm so confused. Oh, this is brutal. Fagin? I'm just like, what? This is so confusing. I mean, tapes say. 
it's not like a tapes tapes say I'm just so I mean a e i o <laughs> like I don't I just don't understand this is so confusing to me tapes oh my god <sighs> I'm that was really bad. So I, I was literally like the entire time I knew this word was cassettes and I just don't know how to spell cassettes because I, yikes. So Ein, E-I-N-S, not E-I-N-E. And I'm sure that there were some of you watching that saying, oh, this moron. Um, and I knew it was Donald Fagan the whole time. I mean, I knew that the entire time it was Donald Fagan. I wasn't sure if it was an E or an A, but um, that's pretty bad that I couldn't figure out that cross. Ugh, I, I, um, interesting puzzle with a lot of like really unusual and, and fun fill. Greta Gerwig is fantastic. I wish I could remember that name of that movie. Um, cause I really liked it and I, oh, well, um, Natalie Cole, uh, this is fantastic. That's an amazing song. And the fact that she posthumously recorded it with her amazing dad is pretty amazing. Um, Jim Croce. It's been a while since I thought about Jim Croce. Um, and I, I'm betting it'll be a while before I think about him again, you know, probably, probably won't come up anytime soon. And the Congo, I mean, this just like, this makes me think so much of the book and, and film the Congo or Congo, um, about the, uh, tribe of, human killing apes. Uh, I think that was a Michael Crichton book. Um, so a lot of good stuff here. I really like this summer months. I mean, I guess technically September, I don't know, September is a summer month until for the first half, whatever. Um, a little bit tough. And aliens. Uh, this is this is nice too. There's just a lot of like good, interesting fill. There's a few things that we see regularly, but not a ton. And there's not very much short stuff. I mean, we've got these three stacks, you know, these three wide stacks up here and down here. Um, but boy, not a whole lot of short stuff. I mean, I'd say that's fewer than 10 three letter answers, which is great. Big fan of that. Um, anyways, I'm, uh, I'm going to let you guys move on with your day. I've taken up enough of your time here. Um, how long did that take? We're at 2005 for the solve. Um, so I'd say that, you know, without the live solve, that might've been like closer to 15 minutes, <clears throat> which is on the longish side, but not nothing too crazy. Um, anyways, hope you guys are having a great Friday. Hope your December is off to a good start. If you're interested in more fantastic crossword puzzle content, you can find me at crossboss.blog and I'll keep uh, uploading YouTube videos here with my live solves as well. So until next time, see you later.